hello friends so today we going to start with your quartiles okay so your quartile means what it is a major which uh, while divides an array into four equal parts is known as your quartile okay where your each portion contains the equal number of items okay so the first second third point are determined as what your first quartile second quartile and the third quartile your second quartile is also known as your median okay so your first quartile is denoted by q1 your third quartile is denoted by q3 okay so this is a graphical represent of presentation of your uh, quartile so you can consider this circle as your distribution so the first quartile is what this is the 25th uh, percentage of your distribution okay so here you'll get what your q1 okay at the half of your distribution you'll get what your q2 or you can say it as what your median okay after that at this point you'll get what your third quartile your first quartile is also known as a lower quartile your third quartile is also known as a upper quartile okay then we're going to find the quartile for again individual or a discrete series okay the formulas are a uh, same uh, as your median okay the method of locating the quartile is same as what your median okay so the first step is what As arrange the data in a ascending and a or a descending order okay. over here we're going to arrange the data in a ascending order find out the cumulative frequency and then apply the formula so this is a formula for your first quartile and this is a formula for your uh, third quartile okay you can refer it as what lower quartile or a q1 and for third quartile you can refer it as what upper quartile or a q3 so the first quartile formula is what size of n plus 1 divided by fourth item okay here you will get what the position of the data item which is going to lie at the q1 position okay so using this formula you will get the position of the data item again for the third quartile it says what the size of 3 and plus 1 divided by fourth item okay so for the quartile your whole distribution is divided into this part so you can consider this part as what one fourth okay the ha half portion is considered as what 1 by 2 okay and the third portion is considered as what 3 by 4 okay so the third, uh, first part of your uh, distribution this is what the half and this is what 3 by 4 that's why here we divide n plus 1 by what 4 that is what 1 fourth part and third quartile by 3 by 4 okay because it is a third quartile okay here we will get what position as I told you, same as your median, it is what a positional averages. Okay, so this is the example of uh, your first quartile and third quartile. This is for the individual data. Okay, this data is what individual. So the data are like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22. Okay, so first we're going to write down our formula for q1 so the q1 is equals to what size of n plus 1 divided by fourth item so your n is what number of observations so how many observations are there 11 observations are there right so 11 plus 1 divided by fourth item okay so the 11 plus 1 is what 12 12 by 4 is what third item okay so the q1 will lie on which position third position so you can consider this as what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven and at the third position six item occurs right so here q1 is what six <coughs> same way we're going to find the q3 so the size of three and plus one divided by four so n is what eleven so 3 into 11 plus 1 so 11 plus 1 12 12 into 3 divided by 
फोर ओके ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व इंटू थ्री डिवाइड बाई फोर सो यूल गेट आंसर एज वॉट नाइन्थ आइटम सो एट द नाइन्थ पोजिशन एटीन इज देयर सो यर थर्ड क्वार्टाइल इज वॉट एटीन दिस इज फॉर वॉट यर इंडिविजुअल डेटा ना विल टेक वन एग्जाम्पल फॉर यर डिस्क्रिट डेटा सो दिस इज वॉट द एग्जाम्पल फॉर यर डिस्क्रिट डेटा अगेन वी गोइंग टू फाइंड क्यू वन क्यू थ्री ओके सो इन अ शॉप यू कैन कंसिडर दैट ऑफ साइज फोर टेन पेयर्स आर अवेलेबल ऑफ साइज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एटीन पॉइंट पेयर्स आर अवेलेबल लाइक वाइज यू हैव अ डेटा दिस इज वॉट यूर डिस्क्रिट डेटा ओके फॉर डिस्क्रिट डेटा फर्स्ट वी नीड टू फाइंड वॉट क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी फॉर द डिस्क्रिट डेटा वी गोइंग टू फाइंड वॉट क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी ओके सो एज यू नो हियर वी फाउंड आउट वॉट लेस दैन क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी सो वी गोइंग टू राइट द फर्स्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी एज इट इज सो टेन टेन प्लस एटीन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी एट प्लस ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टी फिफ्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव लाइक वाइज यू गोइंग टू फाइंड क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी दिस इज वॉट यर लेस दैन क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी अगेन नाउ वी गोइंग टू अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला ओके एज आई सेड यर ओवर हियर फॉर द डिस्क्रिट सीरीज योर एन विल बी वॉट सामिशन ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी एन विल बी वॉट द सामिशन ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी सो द सामिशन ऑफ दिस फ्रिक्वेंसी इज वॉट वन फिफ्टी फाइव ओके सो वन फिफ्टी फाइव प्लस वन डिवाइड बाय फोर that that is what 39 item okay now where to find this 39 okay so to find 39 we going to find what 39th item okay now see how to find this so the first cumulative frequency is what 10 means what up to uh, size uh, size of shoes what 4 you have only 10 pairs okay then 10 then 4.5 you have 28 okay then 5 50 so it ends at what 28 so your 23 lie will lie oh in this line okay so it is actually from 0 to 10 right it is from 11 to 28 and this is from what like a 29 to 50 So your thirty nine lie in this class. So you can say that pi is what your for first quartile class. Oh sorry, first quartile value. Okay. So again we going to apply the formula for Q three. So three n plus one divided by four. Okay. So three n plus divided by four. So you have know all the values. We going to put all the values. After the calculation, you will get the value as what. One one seven. Now, how to find one one seven? So over here, your this class ends at what seventy six till one one five. Okay. So the next class is starting from what one one six till what one thirty. So the one one seven will lie in this class. So the six point five is what your third quartile. Okay. Then. the next uh, your continuous series okay in the continuous series uh, again we are going to represent the data into the classes so these are the steps okay for the q1 the steps are what find the cumulative frequency same way this is for your q1 this is for your q3 in q1 we are going to find the cumulative frequency in q3 also we are going to find the cumulative frequency Second step is what? Find out the first quartile item using n by four. Okay, because we are finding what Q one. Here we are going to find using what? Three <coughs> n by four. 